Hi there, I'm Michael Fudge, and let's take a quick tour of how to use Draw.io for conceptual data modeling. So when I launch the Draw.io program, I can create a new diagram and just pick blank diagram, that's fine. And you can see over here at the left, there's lots of different shapes. Uh, the shapes that we want to use are under Entity Relation. And this guy here, Entity with the rounded corners, is the best one to use for conceptual modeling. Just drag that shape onto the canvas, and now you can begin to work with an entity. And if you want, you can move it around. Uh, I can grab a corner and resize it. And maybe I want to rename it, so maybe customer. And then I can go ahead and rename the attributes. This is why I like using this particular shape, because it's very easy to add the attributes. I could just add the, add, I'm going to use a plus to follow their convention, and I can have customer name, required unique, we'll say, I don't know, just required maybe, and then customer phone, and then maybe customer email, and that's going to be unique. And I'm just adding in my attributes, customer pet name, customer eye color, customer whatever. You can see that they've gone a little too far beyond the name, the size of the shape, so I can just resize the shape to make it fit. Not a big deal. Let's add another entity here. And let's just, I'm going to not give this one a name. And let's work on connecting these two entities together with um, a, a relationship line and then add cardinality. So you can see when you're on the shape, there's these little arrows. will initiate a line like this. See that? The line gets initiated. And then I can hook the line up to one of the anchor points on the shape like that. And when you click on the line you have a, a lot of ways that you can style the line over here. So on one end, I can say, you know, let's put one and only one as the cardinality on one end. And on the other end, let's put um, zero or more. And I usually like to jack up the size of these connectors to 12 points so I can see them. There we go. And so there is some cardinality between one entity and the other. And you can click on the line to add a label you know, like customer blah, and then blah by to add your business rule on the cardinality. And you can also increase the font size of that if you want. I can also color the entities if I want to give them some, you know, some style. I can do that. You know, if you have a large diagram, sometimes this makes sense. Uh, one other thing is you might have a couple of entities on here that you need to connect. So what's nice about Draw.io is once you have established one of your lines, the subsequent lines that you add, see, they all sort of follow the same line ends that you had before. So that's one to many, and I can then change this around. Maybe I wanted it to be um, one to many the other way. And it's maybe it's optional on the one side, so I'll pick pick that. And likewise, I can add another line. Maybe I want to add this line to this entity as well. So you can pick your anchor point. Now, if it gets really kind of confusing, you can always re-anchor these guys, move them up like that. Let's label this. Foo bar. I don't know. I'm just gonna label it whatever. And you can move these uh, shapes around, kind of get them undo that. You can move these shapes around, you know, and the line will sort of follow as best as it can based on where the anchor point is, which is kind of handy when you're trying to fit a lot of things on the diagram at once. One of the last things that I get asked about is, you know, how do I go about maybe um, taking these grid lines off when I make a screenshot? And the easiest way to do that is if you go up to um, view and you'll see there's grid lines that right there, grid, turn that off. Makes it a little easier to sort of look at these guys without having to see all the all the grid lines. It still snaps things to the grid. It just, you know, you don't you don't see the grids. Okay? That's it.
basically how you get around and make a nice um, ERD with Dryo, which is a nice free tool that you can download to your computer or use in the cloud.